Hello, my name is Morgan. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to quickly work through the World Creator 2022.2 Unreal Engine plugin so we can bring a World Creator landscape, including materials, directly into Unreal and start editing and customizing it. Okay, um, step one. Let's go to the worldcreator.com website and download the Unreal plugin for your version of Unreal. You're going to need an account to do this. Once you've created your account, go to your profile and hit Downloads and navigate to the plugins at the bottom of the page. Click on your version of the engine and download it. Okay, so now we've downloaded the World Creator plugin for Unreal Engine and we're going to unzip it and put it into the proper file directory in the Unreal Engine project. So if your project doesn't yet have a plugins folder in it to drop the World Creator plugin into, just create one and drag the World Creator plugin off your desktop into the folder you just created. Now I'm going to open up the Unreal Engine and the project I just put the plugin into and make sure that the World Creator plugin is actually active. In order to do that, I need to just open the project, click on Window, look down to the bottom, and it should say World Creator Bridge. Okay, so now I'm jumping back into World Creator 2022.2. Um, I just opened up a stock level here, or stock landscape uh, to experiment with. And there's a little button right here, Sync, and I click it and this starts a syncing process that with this 8k landscape takes a while so I just cut to once it was uh, exported. Um, now I'm going to close, by the way I had Unreal Engine closed during this process. Now I'm going to back into my project, I'm going to open up the Unreal project that I created and see if this works. I haven't done this yet. so. Um, I'm going to create a new level. Just I'm going to use the basic level template. It's got nothing in it except for a uh, plane and a sky dome and whatnot. Um, so I've saved that. Now I'm going to open up the World Creator Bridge and see what happens. I guess after I delete the floor and look around again. So there's the plugin. I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'm just going to hit synchronize and see what happens. Um, this syncing process with the 8K takes a while, so I will come back when this is imported. All right, well, the landscape imported and it looks really good. Um, this is an 8K map. Um, textures look great. Everything looks really good, pretty impressive. Um, so I'm going to check out some of the performance uh, now that we have this in. It seems a little bit sluggish in the engine. I'm having a feeling the 8K map and these textures and the fact that I didn't world partition this is making it lag a bit. So um, look at the wireframe, which yeah, it's really dense and really nice but um, probably a little more dense than it needs to be and um, let's look at the shader um, visualization so yeah shader is not as you can see it's it's dark green it's not bright green but it's not turning brown or red so it's pretty good um, yeah, that's a really good performance, but I think the frames per second are probably around five, maybe. It's really, really slow um, just to navigate and whatnot. Now let's check that out. Yeah, right around 4.5 um, frames per second, which is unusable, really. Um, so... Anyway, I think we've 
figured out that the plugin works and now it just is a matter of optimizing it. Yeah, as you can see when I delete it, the FPS goes way up or turned it off actually, I didn't delete it. Um, turn it back on and it slows down. So I think with the world partition, um, could probably get some good performance out of this. I'm actually gonna see what happens when I just import a height map um, out of World Creator, and I'm going to do a lower res version um, so I get a smaller landscape. And I'm just going to export a one channel PNG, although I'm just kind of going through the different settings to see what I can get with RAW. And um, But PNG seems to work the best for me anyway in the engine and definitely one channel I don't end up with the ridges uh, you get when you bring in you know all three channels it splits them up so you don't get true 16-bit um, so I'm going to switch this to PNG I'm going to hit 16-bit and I'm going to bring this back into Unreal um, I'm going to throw on a landscape texture and um, see what kind of performance I get. Uh, so I'm thinking I probably wouldn't use this texture from World Creator anyway. Um, but uh, let's see what happens. All right, so back in Unreal, and I'm going to delete this landscape that we made from World Creator and bring in a new one. Um, <clears throat> this time I'm going to build the landscape from a file and import in the uh, height map that we made in World Creator. Now grabbing the texture, hitting open. I actually didn't change the size of the map, I forgot. Um, so we're just going apples to apples to see how the AK maps compare. Uh, with the plugin and also the custom. So there it is, the custom um, or manual made landscape actually. Uh, it's looking good. The frames per second are way down, but it's going to do an auto save. And uh, I'm thinking, yeah, they're going up. So we're getting really good performance out of this, um, although it doesn't have a texture on it yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to go and grab a landscape material and apply it to this. Uh, first we're going to head to the Epic Game Launcher. Um, I'm going to go to the library as soon as that opens up. The landscape looks really good. One channel, PNG. 8K out of World Creator. And it's also partitioned because of the way I set up the landscape. Default settings. So now I'm going into the um, marketplace. I'm going to go to the library and just find the ultra dynamic sky. <clears throat> Actually, um, first I'm going to get the Brushify environment shader. You got to do a quick update. And I'll add this to the project. Add to project, select the project. add to project. All right, now I'm going to jump back into Unreal and see how this works. So now I'm going to apply the landscape material. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to go into the Brushify folder under Landscape Materials and select the material instance of the landscape material. Um, First, I'm going to get out of landscape mode. <clears throat> I'm 
Now I'm going to select the landscape, scroll down to the material. I'm going to add this landscape material. It'll take a second to load up. Once the material loads up, I'm just going to have to add a weight blended layer. Um, I'm just going to add one <clears throat> for now so we can see how the performance is. And there it is. There's the material, landscape material from Brushfy on the landscape. Uh, now I just need to go into paint mode in landscape mode. Click this little plus sign next to you. I think I'm going to do the grass texture. I just uh, like that one. <clears throat> oh. Click this plus sign right here. Weight blended layer. Uh, put it into a shared assets folder, a level folder. Hit save. And that will become available and it'll populate <clears throat> onto this landscape. It takes, it takes a few minutes for the grass and everything to kick in. Um, but I'll show you once it does, it looks pretty good. Still thinking, big map, there it is. Uh, still at 103 frames per second with the material on it. We're not getting any of the grass or rocks or uh, any of the procedural foliage that comes in here. <clears throat> but eventually it will populate. It just takes a few minutes. All right, so here it is. Uh, I actually painted another Weight, weight blended layer onto the surface, uh, kind of a deserty surface. Uh, the grass is now populated, the rocks, and it looks pretty good. The performance still at 75, 72 frames per second. Um, really good. Um, so yeah, this is what we get out of World Creator 2022 with just the height map and then adding a landscape material to the landscape generated from that height map. Um, I'll do some more experiments with the plugin uh, to see what kind of performance I can get um, with the bigger maps if I use the world partition and mess with it a little more. But for now, I still would probably just do uh, build, a, build the height map and build the landscape from the height map in Unreal and bypass the plugin, uh, unless there was some special case where I needed those textures um, or whatever. So that's that. I think I'm going to try really quickly to um, just grab a really small landscape file uh, out of World Creator and bring it into Unreal and see how quickly the smaller files work. So let's see what happens. I'm just going to generate um, a, I believe this is a 1K map, 2K map. Uh, I'd have to look, but it's a lot smaller. Uh, it's one meter. And I am just going to grab the dunes pack out of here, kind of the dunes default project or the desert it's called and bring that into Unreal see how fast they can just kinda generate a quick landscape it can be pretty powerful for just building background plates for concept art or kind of exploring um, desert landscapes or whatever landscape you need uh, so this is it um, right into Unreal in like two seconds for this smaller map. Um, 
let's see when I hit sync how fast this goes oh, okay done. there we go so I'm gonna hit synchronize I'm gonna create a new map or level world creator underscore two small so here's a small version <clears throat> and that almost instantly populates at a super high frame rate um, material looks eh, not great uh, it's passable but really not great um, but not terrible but the performance is really fast and uh, came in very quickly I'm just adjusting the light with control L to adjust the directional light just got the stock standard sky in here um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the landscape material and the desert material that comes with the brushify landscape pack and uh, or I mean brushify environment shader and see how that looks compared to the texture out of world creator I'm gonna have to right click on the level uh, on the weight blended layer and hit fill layer there we go much better right off the bat uh, we're getting some weird moray patterns I don't know why that is happening but um, possibly the lighting setup or the material setup the normal could be too strong I'm not sure um, I'm gonna mess with that but anyway there you have it from world creator to unreal with the uh, world creator plugin uh, it's pretty powerful um, try and figure out some more use cases for it as of now I, I probably will just bring in the height map and go from scratch but uh, if you needed landscape really quick with simple textures you can get a lot of results out of um, world creator with that plugin so anyway thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one cheers <laughs>